uh, there a problem with Chinese demographics? Yes, there is. Um, they do peak in the next seven years, but that makes them all the more desperate. Um, prior to that peak, they've had about 55% males. A normal society would have 51, which is of the order of 50 to 60 million more males in risk capital that you could risk going to war and still be at 51%. I think that makes them very, very risk orientated. Um, and behind them, they have the Indians. So they know their one chance to ascend to global power before the Indians follow is in the next seven years, which is why they're moving the way they are. But it's also another reason is that Deng would be turning in his grave and saying to Xi, you showed your hand too early before you had the power to actually protect your hand. And Obama is responsible, in my opinion, for weakening American influence dramatically over the eight years. He gave power away in the most frightening way that allowed all of the enemies of America to rise and believe they had a chance in challenging America and weakened the world and its stability in the process. But he also drew the Chinese out um, unknowingly so that they're further exposed and they really have the power to represent. And Trump senses that militarily America would win a war with China, so it can't go to a military standoff just now. Um, and so that, so he is encouraged, he has to challenge China now, and she is more exposed than he would like to be, and Deng would have liked him to be. He was a more cautious um, strategist in the process. So one of the hidden processes of the Obama administration, which was not conscious, is China is more drawn out, more exposed than it would be. Now, I'm not convinced even now it can be stopped because if this trade war works and carries on, obviously China's growth patterns start to fall and they are in really big trouble. But what worries me is they'll end up with a gap in manufacturing and all those factories which lay dormant, they can't create product to export and they can't sell internally for their consumer society will be turned to the arms race. Just as America's empty factories after you know 1929 into the late 30s were turned into military weaponizations and that galvanized the US economy. So I think there's an unintended consequence no one's really thought about.